I gave up pretty quickly. The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. Oh, is she in trouble? No countermeasure for the phantom thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Thing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. Things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. Wait, what? She's taking her time because you said don't fail. Get it together. But, sir. I had high expectations for you, but it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well. Since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. She's being careful. Oh. One more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? I mean, yes, but I'm confused. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> I want to take him out. We're home! Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. This is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. 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 Is it something that you can't explain? Explain. 
not to be rude, but why are all the women in this game can't answer questions? Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... Oh? I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Was a, well, a change of heart triggered in you? <laughs> I wish y'all could see my face right now. How about it? Ever since mom died, I, there was n no exit. I was in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. This is random and y'all not gonna care, but I'm gonna make soup next week. I can at least listen to what you have to say. <laughs> just, I just thought about it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna make some soup. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. I hope it's good. It's the same mom's research. They changed my cognition. Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. Really? What? When she said she was gonna go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> why, why are you crying? At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Makes sense. So, Jiro. think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking. That she might soon die in an odd way. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Me? Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Okay. Is there a connection between you and them? Oh. The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. These scandals always seem to find their way around you. What do you have to say? What do I have to say? Uh, uh, what do I say? I'm about to say nothing, I don't know, bro. So, can I assume that you admit to it? Admit to what? These people are called criminals by the general public. 
Almond Leg. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? Oh. That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Girl, at no point did I say it was me. Asked? Stole? Uh, um... And we was concerned about Ryuji. Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? Oh, God. Now I feel real bad, because all this time we thought it was going to be Ryuji. So, he's not connected with the Phantom Thieves, but is one himself? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Can I say yes? Are you serious? You really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months? And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way Mom died wasn't normal! Right. Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. And the outcome of that was me spending my retirement here. Also, the reason I took custody of you was me trying to selfishly atone for what happened to Wakaba. Basically, my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And in the end, I'm the one being consoled. <laughs> I'm hopeless and a laughing stock, aren't I? at fault <sighs> I see don't worry even if you are the real phantom thieves I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out <laughs> I mean who would believe such a story uh, a lot of people actually because it makes sense Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Let's eat. I'm so hungry because I raised my voice so much. Because that's how that works. <sighs> At least we avoided the worst case scenario of being reported arbitrarily. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Yeah, we should. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, girl, wake that ass, wake that ass up.
wait, so I don't get to see the message before? Okay. Play my game. Huh. Well, for top of you, go home. long enough that I'm warm. Took, took a while, but we got there. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming Shut a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further... If I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. I hope you understand the situation you're in. That did not answer my question. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? So, Jiroda didn't answer my question. I see. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, <laughs> great!
We're wanted now. And the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? They put a whole lot of cutscenes at this part of the game. I don't even know the last time I had control. <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah. The enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't have things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This bullshit! God! Fuck! Ah! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey, what do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging on to fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it! I know that we've been set up. And that I was a complete idiot, too! But still, it's so damn frustrating! Stress is gonna be the death of Ryuji. Of course I wanna do something about this! Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we 
really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Yeah. Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. That's the same as dumping our aesthetics again, because we only care about our hides. I see. We all have to stand up. You know, for dramatic effect. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. See? Gotta stand up. Absolutely not like this! Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Yo! Ton of things on this table. Uh. Twenties to thirties, or their forties to fifties. It's safe to say you just don't know. <laughs> I'm losing so many nice. The sight pisses me off. Then log out, bro. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. You can get out. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. If this is a ship that's bound to a rotting dock and destined to sink, we might as well destroy it once. The ship or the dock? Probably the ship. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. 
<laughs> That's so true. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. And how does this one seem reliable? Because he talks so much? When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? No. Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. But There's no way they can make an arrest. It's a desperate method. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! Uh. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this yes. to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Thank you, I was wondering that too. Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? That's not surprising at all. It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! No! Oh. They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Right. Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. So it's bad either way. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean, I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. Makoto, how you feel? Like a real, um, concerned over there. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your head... It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> I 
What do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? Right. I feel like this needs to be her decision. Forget the rest of us. It's a one. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge and extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. This is such a good game. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. I've also uh. known for quite some time that she has a palace. Oh. Why didn't you tell us? Because she was hoping that they wouldn't, y'all wouldn't have to. It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Where's Sojiro? I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Will I be able to increase my um, relationship with Haru? Because there hasn't really been too much time in between her palace, her dad's palace, and this. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? I don't know why I don't like that she's literally just repeating what we just heard. That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi-kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? 
If this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. Oh, sorry. So you became convinced there's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. I hope y'all don't hear that truck in the background. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. I can't really do anything about it. <laughs> That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? Believe? I'm just considering it as a possibility. Oh, God. Then again, if you wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? No, she didn't. Wait, what? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus. I mean, I'm trying. It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. Minimum staff? And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. Oh, of course you don't. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart tree? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. 